Hi everyone, Dan Higgins here over at Astroworld and we're back for part two of our Eagle 3 Pro tutorial. So thank you for watching. Please continue if you like the video to subscribe, like us on Facebook, see what we're up to. We got a lot of stuff going on. So we appreciate the support. So without further ado, let's go to part two. Hey, that rhymes. Okay, so you're ready to connect to the Eagle but you're going to need some software. So we're going to have to get either Microsoft uh, desktop connection. Uh, for those of you uh, Windows 10 users, I believe, have it on there already as part of the operating system. For those of you that are using Android devices, you're going to have to download RD Client from the Google Play Store. Both are free. Both are compatible with the Eagle. I use the RD Client for my, uh, for my Pixel 3. Um, and I also use it for my Chromebook. But there's something funny with the Chromebook. We'll go over that later on in this video. So let's download what we need and then come on back and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, let's start by screwing in the Wi-Fi antennas. And then let's take the screw side of the power cable from the Eagle and let's screw the power cable into the Eagle. Next, we'll supply the power to the Eagle through your AC adapter or your battery with the voltage regulator in order to make sure you don't go over or under voltage. Once you supply power to the Eagle, you'll hear the fan turn on, but the Eagle isn't on yet. You actually have to hit the power button here. Just don't touch this little button over here. We'll get that into a little bit later. Once you turn on the Eagle, after about 20 to 30 seconds, you'll hear a beep, and that beep signifies that the Eagle is now broadcasting its SSID, or the Wi-Fi is turning on. If you go to your phone or your device and go to your Wi-Fi settings, you'll notice that there's a, a network there called Eagle and a series of numbers. Those series of numbers is what Eagle that you have purchased. It should match the number on the faceplate of the Eagle. Once you hit that network, it'll ask for a password. The password is Prima Luce Lab, all lowercase. Enter that and press connect. Then you are connected to the Eagle Wi-Fi. So now it's time. Let's connect your device to your Eagle. So under Windows Desktop Connection or RD Client, open it up. You're going to see a box that pops up. It's going to say either uh, computer or PC name. In that PC name or computer line, you're going to enter this IP address. It's 192.168.137.1. The credential that you're going to put on the bottom is going to be Prima Luce Lab with the P, the L, and the L capitalized. Then it's going to ask for a password. And your password is going to be on that piece of paper you received in your box with a four digit code on it. It looks like this. If you're using a Chromebook, please see my AP and host Wi-Fi video coming up soon. On an Android device, you should now see a little red computer with the IP address underneath it that you have just entered. Click on it. After about 30 seconds, you should start to see your Eagle Display Manager, and you have just taken your first step into a larger world. And now you have connected to your Eagle 3 um, congratulations. So now we go on to our next step, one of the most important things you could do for your Eagle. Before you start plopping information and software on there, you really want to back up your Eagle at his native place so you don't have to, God forbid, and there's a fly flying around here, um, God forbid something happens to your Eagle where something gets corrupt or Windows gets corrupt or something may happen, you never know, but at least you'll have a restore point and to back up to so you don't have to send your lovely piece of machinery all the way back to Italy in order to be fixed. So stay tuned for part three, back up first, and thank you again for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions and your likes and your follows. Thank you so much. Um, please visit our next video, number three, back up first. And remember, keep imaging, keep educating, and keep having fun. This is Dan Higgins out for Astroworld. Thank you for watching.